is wudu. And the key to Jannah is Salah. So, before we begin making the wudu, we need to understand that this is an act of ibadah. It is an act of worship. And inshallah, by me making my wudu correctly, my salah will inshallah improve. So we need to make sure that we are sitting in a clean environment. No worldly talk. We don't waste water. Right? We don't waste water. And we focus on washing every part of our body correctly, the parts of wudu. So we begin, what do we say when we begin? Bismillah. What is the first dua that we make? Okay, Bismillah. On the tap, what is the first? What are the first parts of the body we need to wash? All right. How many times? All right. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. All right. Three times. Don't waste water. All right. Making sure you make hilal through the fingers, All right, until the wrist. That's the first thing we need to do. Okay. Second, we wash our mouth and we gargle three times. Right? Also, a sunnah is to wash the mouth and the nose at the same time. So you place water in your mouth and in your nose. In your mouth and in your nose. Can we do that? Alright, I'm gonna watch it. Right. 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 Then we wash our nose. Okay. Third part, we wash our. So when you wash our face, we make sure our hands are wet from the top part of the forehead, from one earlobe to the other earlobe and to the chin, making sure in between our eyelashes. We wash our face. Don't slap your face. Right? Make sure water goes in between your eyelids. Okay, let me see. Wash your face, boys. Wash your face. Nicely. Right. Make sure your whole face. Oh, you, guys not, you guys don't have beard, so you don't have to worry about your beard. Right? The next, we wash our arms. We wash our arms. We turn them around. We wash the right first, right? And we wash until our elbows, right? We wash until our elbows. Right. After our elbows, our forehead. Place water into your hands. Wipe over your neck. And then forward. Okay, let me see. All right. Three times you wash your arms, forehead. Wash your forehead. All right. After the forehead, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Put that water in there. Don't be shy. All right, that's it. That's it. Don't be shy. Forehead. All over the head. Then, we wash our hands again and we rinse our ears, putting our index finger into our ears and rubbing inside, washing the internal part of the ears and then the back of the ears. Right. Right. Make sure, behind the ear, behind the ear. Right. Very good. And then last but not least, we wash our feet. When you wash your feet, you use your left hand. And then you use the left, the small little finger, and you place mechilal through all your toes. Making sure, because remember, if a compulsory part is left dry, then your wudu will not be accepted. What do we recite all together? Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Allahumma ja'alni min at wa ja'alni min al All right, well then boys, stop over. Alright, stop over.
Alright. Alright. Start off. Wash your hands. Bismillah. Wash your hands until your wrist. Focus on this act of ibadah. And imagine, the Prophet of Allah said that when you're washing your hands, all your minor sins that you've committed from the hands, they fall away. All the sins from your face, from your ears, subhanAllah, they're falling away, mashallah. This is a ni'mah from Allah. Wash your hands three times. Three times. Put your hands through your fingers, like this, make khilal. Right. Second, mouth, three times. Three times. Then your nose. Face. Three times. Right? From one earlobe to the other earlobe. In between your eyes, your eyelashes. All of that needs to be nice and wet. Right, then we go on to the arm, the right arm first. Washing the right arm first, till the elbow. First the right, then the left. Right, then our forehead. We wipe over our nape, our entire nape. Right. Then our ears. Make sure it's all nice and wet. Right. Then our feet. Also, you are able to wash above your ankles. Right. The compulsory part is your ankles, but can you wash a bit higher? No problem. Because. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sahaba asked, Ya Rasulullah, how will I recognize my ummah on the day of Qiyamah? So the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Inna ummati yuda'una yawma al-qiyamati ghurra. My ummah will come on the day of judgment and they will be shining and glittering. Why? Min athari wudu, through the effects of wudu. فَمَنْ اِسْتَطَعْ مِنْكُمْ اَيُّ قِيلَ غُرَّ شَرْهُ فَلْيَفْعَلِ and whoever wants to extend that glitter, let him do so. So even if you wash a bit higher, no problem. What's the dua that we make? Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Allahumma jaalni min al tawabin, wa jaalni min al mutatahirin. Mashallah.